Hello everyone, it's Sunbake Slacks, and today I am playing Magicka. You can't see it in the top left corner, I think, but it's there, and we we'll am be doing this single player. This is my little person, and let's just open this up. Come on. There we go. You can pick your robes, and I have three types, one for being a early buyer, this one, it was a sorry thing that they gave you, and I'm going to use this one. I like the black color for it. Alright, so let's just get started. Leave this screen. Do do do. We don't really need this, do we? If, if you think we need this, I'll go back and just record this stuff for you and maybe upload that onto my channel. I hate loading screens. They need to die. Alright. Oh, wait, I have volume off. This is Vlad. He's a vampire. He's sending you on a trip to save the world. Well, he's not a vampire, as he says. But he talks like one, if I had the volume on for this. And they talk like The Sims. And... Oh, I want to skip this. How do I skip this? You must go to Happen Deer. The controls for this game are really weird, so I set my own, and they're really spaced out, so I have to like stretch for them. So if I'm really slow at times, excuse me. Da da da, saving the world party. Apparently, saving the world happens a lot. Let's go, come on. All right, guys. Yay, a party surprise. They're almost out of cheese. That, that's terrible. I want some cheese. Do you guys want cheese? I'll get you some. They have weird names. Come on. Come on. There we go. Are you alright down there? The safe word is banana. And if you go into the options thing, the, this thing, it says banana. And that's how you quit the tutorial. I'm going to explain this by myself. Okay, Magicka is a game where they give you a bunch of elements down here. And they've just given us our first one. Life. It's a beam. Mainly, it heals, cures poison, and damages undead. And it's opposite to Arcane. So Arcane is right here, and it's not unlocked. And what Arcane does is it pretty much just enhances... It's really just an enhancer. That's all it is. It'll make your beams go farther. Oh, let's let's heal myself first. W, W, W. Okay, class 3 earth elements. And earth is a projectile type, which means you can charge it up. And when you see that, what my person looks like he's doing, that's when it's fully charged. And you let go smashes. Now we get fire, a spray type. It does damage over time, causes panic, and it'll dry yourself if you're in water, which is very useful if you like casting um, lightning spells. Okay, checkpoint. That's nice. Now you can combine elements. For So it's telling us to combine uh, earth and fire. And I'm going to combine more just so I can get more of an effect and make it easier. Charge it up because it becomes a projectile. Boof.
And yes, they have generators in ancient times. Makes so much sense, right guys? Now we're wet. And we want to cast lightning now. What are we going to do? We're going to try to put lightning. We just took damage. So let's heal ourselves real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And we're going to cast it on ourselves. And now we're going to go... Let's just do A, A. And we're going to double cast. I've never really used that in the when actually playing the game. Oh, here we go. Arcane. It's another beam type. So Lightning's a beam type. I forgot to say that. It does arcane damage. It's explosive. It heals the undead. Opposites are life. So watch. If we put life in with arcane, they just cancel each other out. And I told you it enhances things. If we put A, S, A, S, F, which is my favorite spell, and you right click, it becomes a fire, lightning, arcane beam, and it becomes farther. So watch. If it, you just do lightning, it just stops right there, and it goes for a really short time. But if you go A, 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 S, S, really long time now, and it goes for pretty much forever. And this is just a tutorial. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. Cold. Why do they have it? Why do they have it twice? Type spray. Properties. It'll slow and freeze water. And as I'll tell you in a second, the cellar is flooded. And as everyone knows, wizards can't swim. That's quite strange. So we're gonna get R. Let's give it some arcane. Oh wait, that made it a beam. Fill this thing up. There we go. There we go. Now we get water, and it's another spray type, and it's just to douse fire pretty much. And if you're on fire, this is what you'll use. Okay. Well, since I seem to be messing up with the controls already, and it's just. Okay. I'm, I, I just cut myself off. Here's a spell book. You pick it up, gives you a spell. We just got the spell haste. And as you see down here, we have a little we have the spell right here. And so it requires A S F. And then we'll press spacebar. I I don't have that control set to that. And we move really fast. Isn't that fun? Alright, so let's cast A S F. Go, 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 go. Run for it. What am I doing? Ah, okay, there we go. Now we get to have some fun. Let's try D F. Oh, I forgot about that. There's another, there's two other types of um spell things where if you take um, uh, water and fire and makes mist and it's a spray type also and then if you take water and cold it makes a projectile type which is needles and we'll just run through here and they'll probably all attack us Ah, uh, alright, let's get out of here. So I don't die. Because it'd be really bad if I died in the tutorial. ASAS. -A -A -A. Just kill off these things because they annoy me so much. Is that it? That's it. Alright, www. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Now this door's open now. Here's a lever. They're used a lot, from what I understand. I haven't gotten very far. Boss fight. Behold the Watcher. And so we get our final element, shield. Type, shield. It's a protective barrier, and you can't have two of them in the same thing. So let's let it give us that. We'll cast it. And... Oh, I accidentally... And you press the space button on it to make it a uh, 
the shield go stronger. And as you see, it's saying something summon bugs. If I do a uh, stealth cast without having anything in it, it'll summon the bugs that are right there attacking the thing. ASAS. Ah. Wait, it killed it? Oh, okay, good. Now let's just come over here and destroy this thing. It's weak to fire, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's just walk through here. We're back up top. And now they give us two spells. One that'll be totally useless to us. And the other that I don't like using because there's a chance it kills me. They give us revive. And wait, I'm, what's crashed a desktop? That must be new. I'm afraid to try it. I'll try that off screen. If it doesn't do anything bad, I'll show you. Da -da -da. Run through there. To the exit. Ta-da! We're outside this huge castle thingy. Now there's two things out here that are that are, ones of importance. If you break down this door using a projectile, just charge it up. Oh, how did I? Oh wait, I forgot to show you guys this. If you charge up without using the having a projectile thing in your spell bar, it pushes people. Now let's try to break this door. There we go. Now you come in here, and there's a box hidden under here. Hit interact, it opens, and a staff shows up. It's a staff of life, and it heals anything in your vicinity. So I don't like it, so I'm just going to keep this staff for now. And these guys are hilarious. I'm just going to let them talk. They just said that they were just fighting over what's more, what was more exciting, the first time saving the world or the second one. Mailbox, nothing but spam. This is an area just to let you test things. And when I pick up in the next episode, this is where we'll be in a little spell testing episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.